In this video, I'm going to share with you how to live stream your DJ set to Instagram in high audio and video quality. I still see many artists streaming their live sets by playing their music through speakers and using the microphone of their smartphones to capture the sound. This won't result in the best possible audio quality. If you want to go for that style, that's totally up to you. But if you only do that because you don't know how to send the audio signal from your mixer directly to Instagram, then this is the right video for you. In fact, let me show you the difference. If you put on headphones right now, you'll be able to notice the difference quite well. Here's the sound if you're using your smartphone microphone. And here's the sound if you're using an audio interface. Another opportunity for enhancing the overall quality of your stream is to use your iPhone camera instead of using the webcam on your laptop. I'm also going to show you how to do that. Let me say that in the beginning, there will be some effort required from your side to set all of this up. But once you set it up, it is very easy to go live again and again and have that nice quality. As for this video, it will be structured as follows. We're going to take a look at what gear you need, what software is required, how to connect the hardware and the software, what settings you need to use, and then how to go live. So let's start with hardware. You'll need a laptop, an audio interface, and a smartphone. In this video, I'm using a MacBook Pro. The audio interface I'm using is the Scarlett 2i2 second generation. However, the third generation is now available and I suggest you go for this one instead if you don't have an audio interface yet. And you'll need a smartphone. Note that in this video, I'm using an iPhone. If you're an Android user, make sure to subscribe to this channel and come back later as I'll be showing you in a future video how to do this with an Android phone as the process is slightly different. So what software do you need? On your laptop, you'll need OBS, the iOS plugin for OBS and Yellow Duck. I'll put a link in the description to all of these programs so you can download them. By the way, they are free. And on your iPhone, you'll need the OBS camera app, which I believe costs around 10 to 20 bucks. Let's now take a look at how to connect the hardware and software. First, connect your mixer to the audio interface. On your mixer, you can use different outputs, the record out, the master out, or the booth out. I personally go for the record out as it has a constant volume. You can also use the master or the booth. However, if you change the volume of the master or the booth during your set, it will also change the volume of your live stream. Depending on which output you want to use, you'll need to buy in the appropriate cable. As I'm using the record out, I had to go for the RCA cable. Connect that cable to your audio interface input, which in most cases is an XLR input. In this case, you'll need a XLR-M cable. Connect the audio interface with your laptop using the USB cable, which comes with the audio interface. Now launch OBS. Add a scene by clicking on that plus button. Name your scene, whatever you want. I'm gonna go for Instagram live stream. Then in the sources section, you click on the plus button Select audio input capture, name it whatever you want, for example, audio interface, and select your audio interface, which in this case is Scarlett 2i2. Now play a track from your mixer and put the gain on your audio interface up. Make sure you are not clipping. Some audio interfaces, like this one, are going to signalize that you're clipping with a red light. So make sure you stay with the green lights. Now the audio signal still might be too loud for OBS, so make sure to adjust the audio signal until the volume is peaking around minus 12 dB. Now let's set up the video. Connect the iPhone to your computer using a regular USB cable. Open the OBS camera app on your iPhone. Change the output resolution to 1280, 720 in the settings. Click on the plus button in your scene and then on iOS camera. You should now be able to see a preview from the iPhone camera on your laptop. Click OK. 
Now make sure to mute the microphone on the iPhone by clicking on the mute button. Let's now go to the next step. What settings do I need to use in OBS? Usually there is some latency between the audio and video signal, meaning the video and audio are not perfectly synchronized. So click on the settings icon right next to the mute button and click on advanced audio properties. In this row where you see your audio interface, set the sync offset to 200 and click OK. That usually does the trick. Now let's go to the general OBS settings on the right bottom. Click on settings and go to output. Set the video bitrate to 2000 and audio bitrate to 128. Then go to video and copy the settings that you're seeing here. So resolution to 720, 1280, land cells as a downscale filter and common FPS values to 30. As I'm going to be live for a few seconds in order to show you that this works, I will add a short text to my screen letting people know that this is only a test. But I'm also going to use this as an opportunity to show you how to add text and pictures to your stream. This comes in handy if you want to promote a brand, your website, etc. Now open Yellow Duck on your PC. Log in using your Instagram login credentials. After you did so, you will see a RTPM URL and a stream key. We now have to copy these into OBS. So open the OBS settings and go to Stream. In Service, select Custom. In Server, paste the RTPM URL you got from Yellow Duck. And lastly, copy and paste the Stream key you got from Yellow Duck into the field Stream Key in OBS. Click OK. Now you're ready and you can click on Start Streaming. So there you have it guys, this is how you stream your DJ set live on Instagram. Hope you learned something, thank you for watching and see you next time.